So what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Drush FC build order. Uh, for this video I want to just focus on the basic build order, uh, where to put your starting villagers, and uh, what to look for in Feudal Age and eventually the early Castle Age that you're going to have. Uh, the idea with this video is that you're going to be able to do the basic uh, build order and be able to hit solid times. I'm going to do, be doing a follow up video uh, in the future, probably next week or so. Uh, going over a game review that features this Drush FC builder and showing the different things you can do a bit later on in the game. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. So if you want to, you know, just get the, the build order, here it is, it's on Notepad. Um, so in Dark Age it tells you where to send your villagers, in Fuel Age it tells you uh, how to manage your economy, and then what upgrades to get in Castle Age. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys this video, uh, show you guys this build order. Um, I'm going to just load up Standard Arabia. Alright, versus an AI. Alright. Everything good. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and learn something. Let's get. Oh, I'm gonna go with Saracens as well. I'm gonna use a sieve with no eco bonus, so in the case that you do have a sieve with a, with a proper eco bonus, it's only gonna be easier. And I'm gonna do this with only learning one or two sheep, so I'm not gonna be learning too many sheep. Anyways, let's jump right into it. Alright, first thing you want to do is drop two houses like normal. Uh, again, the build starts out relatively standard. Uh, the differences tend to come a, a bit later on in Dark Age. Scout your sheep, and the first six villagers will obviously go to sheep. That's how you start every game. Scout my map. Alright. And so the idea with the Drush FC is to be able to kind of wall yourself early, use the Drush to buy some time, and then get up to the castle age faster than your opponent can if he's investing into the feudal age. So the idea is to skip feudal age and go straight to the castle age. Scout with my sheep. This is all standard stuff that you do in every dark age build order. All right, once you have six on sheep, now you wanna pick your safest wood line. Again, you're not gonna be doing any um, fighting in feudal age, so you wanna be able to wall your map and so right now my safest wood line is this one. Uh, it's going to be easily walled. So I'll take that one and you know my opponent shouldn't be able to tower it if he does come forward. Alright, I found my deer. I'm going to lure one deer. Because uh, normally you want to save your time to scout your opponent. And you won't be able to lure more than one or two deer. So for those of you who don't know how to lure deer, you just... When you scout right behind them, and they'll eventually move forward, and you just lure them into your TC like this, quite straightforward. So, anyways, now we want to do four onto wood. Then I'm sending the first, four, the next four bills there. The important thing to look for in this, in this early game, is just making sure that your your bills are working under your TC. And that you have no idle time with your TC, so you're always creating villagers. So I found all my sheep, I'm gonna go scout my opponent now. Uh, with this fill, I'm gonna, so once I have four on wood, go get the boar. And you wanna get the one that's on the front of your base. Um, just in case your, your opponent decides to lame you, you will have a harder time taking the one closer to the back or to the side. Anyways, after you get the boar, again, drop the food, make the vill. Never have idle TC, very important. And you're gonna drop a house. When you want to drop when you drop your houses, you want to drop them where you want to wall your base because it's really important to wall your base for the Dresh FC. So I'm putting a house here. I want to wall the front like that. That's the idea. Uh, after that, you want to send three bills to berries. Going to just get my boar in and try and do a clear lure here. Perfect. Good stuff. And now I'm going to move on to my berries. So I want to send. Oh, this is kind of being weird. This villager. It's fine though. The idea is you want to send three or four villagers to berries now. Always looking for your opponent. All right. And make sure I'm keeping my sheep on this side. I want I don't want this guy um, to take another sheep when he's done. Okay, so I found my opponent. I have four on berries, and now I want to get my my second boar. Um, if your initial boar runs out or your other boar is very really far, you can get your second boar when you have only three on berries. Anyways, this one's quite close. I'm going to go ahead and grab him now. I've scouted my opponent. 
Uh, usually with your Drush you want to hit something like a berry bush, uh, a wood line, anything that you can, just, just to annoy him a little bit. You're not looking to kill villagers, you just want to annoy your opponent and buy yourself some time. So with this villager 18 pop, you want to go ahead and build another house. Again, try to wall with it. Second boar coming in. Alright. Clean there. There we go. Alright, and now you want to get 10 gold. So it's important to get 10 gold. Um, because you want to be able to have enough gold for 3 militias. Because a judge with anything less than 3 militias is pretty ineffective. Anyways, to the village that did the house, you want to build your barracks on the front. Again, in your wall. Notice that all my all my buildings will help build me a wall. Alright, now you want to send enough fills to have, to have seven on wood. So, from, in my case, three more. Still building the barracks on the front. I've seen a, wood, uh, a possible berry bush that I can hit. I'll probably scout around for his wood line now. Obviously, this first AI, so... Not going to be, you know, the best player, but... I'll still give you the example of how you want to play Josh. But after you're done your barracks, you're going to need a house to just drop it right away. Uh, when you get your 10 vil in, just put her onto food. There you go, I'm going to need one more onto wood. And at this point, you're going to need to take uh, two sheep at the same time, which is fine. I'm going to make my three Felicia. Yeah, I'm getting housed a little bit, but it's no big deal. And I'm going to start walling up. So what's important in this build is to wall up your base. Um, so you're well protected in Feudal Age, because if they actually get in, if your opponent gets in in the Feudal Age, you're going to have some tough times. So at this point you want to be seeding a few farms, with low HP villagers, preferably. Alright, make sure your woods are working good, and yeah, send your three militia out when, they, when you have them created. I want to make a house, I'm at 28 pop, so I'm going to send them, and again, make it in a place where I can wall with, like so. Alright, continue making farms. Militia are going across the map. And now you want to send on to gold. This field is going to finish walling. Going to make a bit more farms. Again, the reason you go se uh, 7 on wood is just to be able to afford um, all these farms that you're going to need to be able to click up to the castle age. Militia coming in. When your sheep starts running out, you can just take the the wood close to your TC. That's all fine. And you're going to need 4 on gold, because you're going to need 200 gold to click up. And with your Josh, obviously it's an AI, get Loom. Just hit, and when he starts fighting you, you run. So normally in a real game, he would start fighting you. And you just run away with your militia. Continue seeing farms. I'm going to need a lot of farms to be able to do this, since I'm not luring any tier, and I didn't steal any resources. Alright, and I click up. And what you can do is actually trap the villa with your scouts. So when it tries to run back like a real wood, a real player would, and do a farm, you can block the fill with your scout, and the militia will be able to clean it up, dodge the tissue fire. So these are the villas you want to go for. Um, your opponent will not fight you head on, usually. I'm gonna continue walling here. I'm gonna look around again. This is just buying me time so I can full wall my base. Um, I'm not looking to do any serious damage with my Drush. Alright. Go, full walled. Again, I'm going to block this villager with my scout if I'm able to. And look how efficient this is. If you just learn to block their villager in. And you get it. That's how you micro with the Drush, pretty much. Alright, so as soon as I hit Feudal Age, what I want to do is drop uh, a range and a blacksmith instantly. And again, you want to kind of put these in your wall, but you want your range to be on the front, so uh, maybe I'm going to do my blacksmith over here, continue my wall on this side, and I'll put my range on the front here, or here. Alright, Feudal Age kicked in. My buildings are going to go down. And my food count's still quite low, so I'm going to seed one more farm. Again, the important thing is just to click off quickly. More farm, and I'm gonna need to send a couple more to gold. So at this point, in a regular game, your drush will probably be cleaned up. Um, so you can, you know, just scout, scout around with your scout. Try to keep that one alive. You don't care about the militia, but try to keep your scout alive. Send a couple more to gold. Again, continue walling when you can. And you're gonna want to click up 
anytime soon. So as soon as you can afford to click up, add OTC a little bit and then go right up. Right. So probably after this villager, I'll just idle and I'll click up. Again, making sure I'm fully walled. It's very important. Gonna idle a bit. And when you're close to it, just drop off your food. And you'll be up. So I clicked up around 1410. I am fully walled. And I have one range so far. I want to get up to two ranges though. Alright, I have around 7 on gold once this villager uh, finishes up. Do you want to have around 7 or 8? I'm going to go with 8 for this uh, for this video. And make your second arch range also on the front. Because you want to be able to reach your opponent as quickly as possible. Get the villager going in. Alright, and now you don't want to seed any more farms. At this point, you want to send a couple more to wood. And get your eco upgrades. So, double bit axe is important. You're also going to need Fletching and eventually Bodkin Arrow. Hold my wall. Yeah, so I'm fully walled and now I'm up to Castle Age. My opponent, if he committed to any scouts or skirmishers or archers or whatever in the Feudal Age, um, he would definitely not be able to click up this fast. Alright. Notice I'm not doing Horse Collar. Uh, you actually don't need that one this early on. Alright, once your barriers start to run out, you can start seeding a couple more farms. At this village, I will seed one more, and maybe even this one. It's all about ba balancing your eco. Looking at what you need and what you can afford. Alright, I'm going to start attacking with my troops now. And having around 6 archers is, the, is, a, is a good number when you, once you hit Castle Edge. So I'll have exactly 6 right now. And you want to be able to afford crossbow right off the bat, and then eventually bodkin. go fill your production all right so i'm gonna pause at this point i clicked up i hit cast range around 1650 that's not the perfect time the perfect time is around like 1615 or something like that so i'm quite delayed but obviously i'm using a sieve that has no eco bonus and i'm fully walling so it's understandable that i'm a bit late um but this is still fine anything under 17 1730 is is, is fine uh the idea now is either i can go for with bosa since i have the eco for it uh or i, I save up for bot and row as a per personal preference, I like to go for Bodkin Arrow to put the pressure on my opponent right away. So anyways, I will show you what to do there. But if you want to play more economically, you can just save up for um, Bosa and that's completely fine as well. So now you want to make your way out with the Expo, continue making houses, and then boom, I can afford Crossbow a little bit later. I'm going to go for it. Obviously, Militias are cleaned up. There we go, just making a few more crossbows. And the next step obviously is to make a uh, bow saw when you can afford it. So again, crossbows with Botkin at 18 minutes, I'm already at my opponent's base. I'm gonna soon be able to have enough for bow saw, just getting a couple more farms. You can do as you wish with the crossbows. And as soon as I get bow saw, I'm gonna go for it. And again, like, this is the AI for sure, but any opponent won't have the army to fight these crossbows. I'm just way too quick to the castle age, and he'll have feudal army, and I'm going to easily be able to out-micro him. So that's the end of the build, build order. Uh, I got crossbow and barking there around 18 minutes. I got bow saw shortly after, around 19 minutes. Uh, and now I have an eco set up to um, boom freely, or even put the pressure on by adding, let's say, ballistics or a siege workshop. Uh, I prefer adding a TC before I do that, just to get my economy going. Uh, but you do as you wish in your games. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The Drush FC is mostly used with civs that have strong economy bonuses like Mayans, Vikings, uh, Malians. But it could be done with any civ, as I just showed you with Saracens who have no eco bonus. Uh, you can lure a couple of deers to make it easier for yourselves. Um, but again, make sure you scout your opponent because you need to do that some sort of damage with your Drush. So yeah, that'll be all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next week, I'm going to do a follow-up video on this, and I'm going to be showcasing an expert game uh, that uses the Dresh FC. And I'm also going to show you some of your options in the later stage of the game. So here we've covered up to around 18 minutes. I'm going to show you what you could do from 18 minutes to 30 minutes and how to transition into a correct Imperial Age. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.